let's look at how to make use of the copy function. Copy is also a predefined function. So Delphi has defined the function for us. We just need to know how to use it. Uh, it gives us a function means it's giving us something. It's a returning a value. So when we use copy, it's used to get part of a given string. That's what copy does. It returns part of a given string. So for example, if I've got the word computer and I want to get the word PUT out of computer, then I can use copy to give me that part. Alternatively, if I wanted to get this part, I could use I could use copy and it would give me that part or if I want to get the values at the end. So copy is used to get part of a given string. That's what you, you would use copy for. There are two ways we can use copy. The first method has three parameters. One, two, three. So the first method in using copy is to use three parameters. The second method has only two parameters when I use copy. So let's look at what each parameter does in the first method. So in the first method, we are saying copy str. str is referring to your string. So it's that string that you are copying from. The for is the position where you want to start copying from. So I want to start copying from position four. So remember, this is one, two, three, four. So this is where I'm starting to copy from position four. And the three is not the end position. The three is the number of characters that I want to take from the start position. So if this is my start position, I want to take three characters from there. One, two, three. So that is what it's actually going to take. If I say copy from str, start at position four and take three characters, that and if my if my string is computer, it will return the word P U T. So this is a predefined function. You must understand how the parameters work in the predefined function in order to use it. So the first parameter is your string. Second parameter refers to the starting point that you want to copy. And the third parameter is the number of characters from that point. Now in method two, we've got two parameters, copy from your string, and it's got only one parameter, which is the start. So str is still your string that you are copying from, and the four is your start, where I'm starting to copy from but it's not telling us how many characters to take from the starting position, like method one. So in method two, if only two parameters are used, then from the starting position, it'll go to the end. It automatically copies right till the end. So in this case, you're gonna start copying from position four. Position four is P and it's going to go right to the end. And in this case, it's going to give you P-U-T-E-R. So copy str comma four will give you P-U-T-E-R, but copy str four comma three will give me P-U-T.
So if you understand how to use both the versions of copy, depending on the situation that you are in, you can then determine which version to make use of. But you must understand what each parameter does in the copy statement.